Before we get stuck into the episode, a little plea from me, if I may. I know that we have some awesome and loyal listeners of the show. I can see it in the stats. So thank you so much for listening to the show. My plea is for you to please hit that subscribe button to like and rate the show, whichever platform you're on. It would mean so much to me. I know this is something that all podcasters are asking for, but it really does make a difference and it would mean a lot to me. So thank you in advance. On with the show. Hello and welcome to Beyond the Bio. This week I am celebrating the fact that my new book has officially launched. It literally is the week of the official launch for From Unknown to Unforgettable, How to Build a Personal Brand that Goes Beyond the Bio. I could not resist the opportunity to talk about the book and to officially kick off this launch week in style. It also coincides with a year of Beyond the Bio, although technically that was a few weeks ago and I forgot. But what a great opportunity to also celebrate the fact that the show's been going for over a year now and was the inspiration for the book, in fact, hence the subtitle of the book. A whole year of Beyond the Bio, that is completely wild. I absolutely love doing the show, if that is not obvious. It's been really fun. I get to chat about all sorts of different things that make up your personal brand Sometimes this is me chatting about a particular topic and other times I have fantastic guests talking about their area of expertise or experience. And it's just been so much fun. I've genuinely really, really enjoyed doing the show. It's a real pleasure and a privilege to speak to people each week and ask them all the questions about their topic that I want to know. The other thing that's been really fun with the podcast is seeing where people are listening to it. Every week there is some random new country that I've probably never been to and want to go to where people are downloading the show. The show itself is usually in the marketing chart for the UK, which is pretty cool, and also has charted in some other countries. I made a note of these to share these just to show you how random they are and to say hello to people in these countries. So, so far this year, the show has charted in South Africa, Kenya, Estonia, Ireland, Australia, Denmark, Nigeria and Israel. What an eclectic bunch of countries and hello to everyone that's listening anywhere in the world right now. The podcast came about initially because, well, this isn't my first podcast and you will, if you search up The Ambition Accelerator, find my original podcast show, which was linked to my second book, The Ambition Accelerator, where I'd recorded interviews with some of the women that were in the book and decided to turn that into a podcast and I did really enjoy doing that and it did give me a bit of a taste for podcasts. Then fast forward a couple of years and launching my PR agency Moja and part of the agency we have a podcast studio and I was literally sat outside the studio for months and months without really even thinking about having my own show and it was a chance conversation at a barbecue somewhere (laughs) chatting to a business friend of mine Natasha who said to me when are you going to do your podcast you need to crack on and, and make it happen and she was absolutely right and I think it was pretty soon after that where I thought yep I need to just get in there and start recording the show and then got the bug for it and here we are over a year later. As with many of the things that I do, it then has a snowball effect of creating other ideas and leading to other projects. It had been in my mind for a while to do another book. I've done two books already and they have been seriously good fun. So the first book I wrote came out in 2019. It was a book for students and graduates to help them get their first job. That you'll have heard me talk about on the show before in terms of the opportunities that it created led to two brilliant book launches where we had clients and friends attend, which led to the opportunity of being asked to deliver two TEDx talks. I said yes to the first one and 
months later did do that and it makes me feel sick every time I talk about it which I again have shared on, on the show multiple times it also gave me a column in a magazine it led to tv opportunities so it did all the great things that we often speak about on this show creating this whole book magic which really shows the power of having a book the second book, as I said before, was my lockdown project. It was something to keep me occupied while I was stressing about all sorts of other things, like most of us were. And I didn't get to do a proper launch for that because we were in the middle of lockdown and it just it just wasn't right. But very much enjoyed writing that. So this third one, it felt like a really natural fit to do this third book linked to the podcast because I've covered so many really relevant topics that people are enjoying and the feedback for the show is coming through to say how useful the content is. So I thought, why not turn that into a book? And I was going to call it simply Beyond the Bio, but I realised that that wasn't hugely sensible because a lot of people will hopefully find the book that haven't heard the show and vice versa. So I'm hoping that the book leads to the podcast, the podcast leads to the book. So I wanted to come up with a title that was a bit snappier and have a bit of a play on words. And that is where the title From Unknown to Unforgettable comes in. And having that strap line, how to build a personal brand that goes beyond the bio is, I think, a nice, cute link to the podcast as well. We're doing this official launch. It's actually been out for a couple of weeks now, which I haven't really shouted about because I wanted to save all of the launch activity for this week. If you're listening to the show later than the 2nd of September, then this is all still relevant and I hope that you do support the book. But it's a particularly exciting week to be launching the book. We've got loads of super cool stuff happening. So tonight we are in London on the 12th floor of the Hilton by the Tower Hill in the wonderful Wild Side by Savage Garden, a beautiful venue, which is also the venue where we host City Ladies London networking events. And this is a a beautiful venue where we've invited friends, clients, all sorts of brilliant people to come along and kick off launch week in style. We then move to Newcastle, my hometown, to do the Newcastle leg of the launch on Thursday evening. So lots of fun things planned for both of those events. And I'll not do any spoilers in case anyone's coming tonight and is going to be joining us to celebrate. The book is available now. It is available on paperback, Kindle and audiobook versions. We are doing a special promotion on Kindle all of this week where you can buy it for 99 pence. So it'll be 99 pence from 8 a.m. this morning until 5 p.m. on Friday. Complete bargain, 99 pence. And the other thing is that all the sales this week are going to the charity I chair, Smartworks Newcastle, which means that your purchase not only is going to help you build a unforgettable brand but it's going to support a charity that helps women across the northeast with interview clothing and coaching so it's a win-win please do buy the book this week and there will be links to the book in the show notes So let me tell you a bit more about this book. This is the first book that has been published by our new publishing division, Moja Publishing. We've been working with clients that want to do books for ages. And at the moment, the publishing options, I think we've spoken about publishing on the show before, are traditional publishing, one end of the scale, and self-publishing, the other end of the scale. And there is a hybrid option somewhere in the middle, which is where we are pitching Moja Publishing. So there was a little bit of pressure around the timeline to make sure that my book was the first one to be published through the new division. And it's been lots of fun and learning for me and the team along the way. The book itself, I'm going to give you a bit of a a sneak peek as to what to expect from the book. So I have a foreword, which most books tend to have, most business books these days. And my foreword is written by none other than my business buddy, Sarah Davies, who you may know from BBC One's Dragon's Den. Sarah's foreword is fab, just like she is. It is talking about the importance of personal branding and it is talking about 
the impact that her having a strong personal brand has had for her and the opportunities that that's created. So a brilliant introduction to the book. So what can you expect from the book itself? Well, it has nine chapters. First one being, what do you stand for? So talking a lot about how do you establish your brand in the first place? Like, What do you actually stand for? How do you work out what you want that messaging to be? And how do you have the confidence to start putting yourself out there? I've then got chapters around becoming an authority, maximizing speaking opportunities, awards, success with the press. How do you get that PR? There's a chapter in there around board influence. So how do you get onto the board of a charity or, or another business? I've got a chapter in there about networking, which is a topic that we've spoken about a fair bit on the podcast around how you make the most of networking. I've then got a chapter around online, so the socials, which for me is always the last bit in personal branding. I know a lot of people, when they think of personal branding, they think purely of social media. And that's one of the reasons why I don't really like the term personal branding, because I think it has some negative connotations around social media. So I wanted to make that the end, because for me, that's the last piece in the puzzle. You do all of these other things to lay the foundations to then share your content and what you've been up to and your achievements on social media. So it's intentional that it is towards the end of the book, but there's some, some useful stuff in there as well. And then finally, bringing it all together with some action planning and how do you put it all into practice. Throughout the book, there are some references to the show. So where there's been a particular guest expert who has given some brilliant advice. I've made sure that that has been included. And also in line with the show, I have take action boxes dotted throughout the book to encourage you to take action for each of the chapters where there's something that you can do yourself. As well, the book comes with some free resources that are going to make it even easier for you to do all of this stuff for yourself. So some templates, some action planning sheets, all sorts of cool stuff that is going to to help you to put these actions in place and make an impact straight away. So a sneak peek of those resources, we've got a template for an award strategy, there's a board CV template in there, there's an elevator pitch and a roadmap for goal setting alongside some other resources too. There's also a list of seriously useful websites that are going to support all of the activities that you are going to want to take as a result of reading the book. So there we have it, a bit of a whistle-stop tour around what to expect. As I said, the book is available now on Kindle, paperback and audiobook versions. If you buy it and if you like it, please do leave a review. It's always hard to get reviews for things. So if you love it, please do leave a review. This is definitely the week to buy it. We're doing all the launch activities and it's 99 pence on Kindle. So please do, if you love the show, you are going to love this book. It's so practical. I've had some awesome feedback from the beta readers that read the book a few months back. And I think it's my best book. I really do. I absolutely love it. And if you follow all of the advice in the book, it is going to have a positive impact on your personal brand. So there we have it. A mega plug for the book. But come on, publishing a book is a big deal and I should be allowed a moment to celebrate that. If you're coming to one of the book launch parties, then I will see you for a drink later. If you buy the book, please do let me know what you think about it. I would I would absolutely love to hear your feedback. And as always, thank you so much for supporting the show, listening to the show. It really does mean a lot to see the show growing over the last year and to read messages and see some of the reviews that come in for it. It's it's encouraging and keeps me going and keeps me motivated to do more. So thank you for your support and I hope you check out the book and I'll see you next week. Thank you for listening. If you're serious about growing your profile, take our free profile assessment quiz to see where you're at right now and get hints and tips on how to improve your score. You'll find the link to the quiz in the show notes. If you've enjoyed the episode, it would be mint if you'd subscribe, like and leave a review. See you next Monday.